Hello Singles Collective and welcome back Single Taurus. Today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings are coming in your direction in matters of the heart here for September 2022. I'm also going to take a look at what the mental mindset that you're going to need to have in order to maximize the blessings that are coming in for you in September. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I'm going to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channel's messages. All right, single Taurus, let's take a look here at what blessings are coming in your direction in this month of September, and then the mental mindset you need to have in order to maximize these blessings. All right, first blessing here coming up for you, transformation, the blessing of metamorphosis, of transitioning into a new cycle here. It says you are experiencing enormous change right now, and that could be significantly, uh, specifically, I should say, uh, specifically talking about your love life, okay, matters of the heart. Um, and so you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. It was what I'm hearing here is it was a time to let go, okay? It was a time to let go of things, of relationships, of people, of situations, circumstances that no longer served you. And it's time to now open yourself to a new chapter. You are that butterfly. You are that person that's spreading their wings. And some of you may have just recently broken up or had a significant breakup or ending either in your past or recent past. And there's this sense now in the month of September where you're opening yourself up to new opportunities, to new cycles of uh of change and new cycles of be of beginning here all right so let's see what else it's actually titled the beautiful maiden wow beautiful beautiful energy here it's like you're letting go of past past hurts past situations past uh i was gonna say headaches <laughs> past headaches past, past heartaches okay let's see what other blessings are coming in your uh, direction here in the month of September in regards to your love life. You have four of pentacles. Like I said before, there were things maybe you were hanging on to, okay, that were no longer serving you. And here with the four of pentacles, now this four of pentacles is going to change that energy of holding on to things that no longer serve you. And it's going to give you a different energy here or a blessing. And it says, I trust I am always safe and protected. And there may have been here situations in your past or recent past where you felt that you weren't in a, either a safe relationship or a relationship where you were able to spread your wings and be your true self. And I feel here in the month of September, this change or this sense of blessing that's coming in your direction is, the, is, is for you to value that sense of freedom, for you to value this sense of safety and the sense of feeling that no matter what may have happened in the past or recent past, you are protected in this new beginning, all right? So you also have here the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords, of course, is the releasing of, okay, the releasing of any mental situations, things that you've been thinking about a lot, things that you've been that been worrying you, okay? Uh, the Ten of Swords is this, maybe for some of you, even the sense of feeling that you failed at a relationship or may have been failing in, 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 in situations of love. And that's not the case, okay? You haven't been failing at anything. These are lessons that you needed to go through in order for you to go through a sense of more metamorphosis, of transformation. And I feel that these losses were a blessing in disguise. And here in the month of September here for you, uh, Taurus, it says, I see the truth in this ending. There was a reason why those things needed to end, those connections needed to end, those memories needed to end as well, and that sense of trying to hang on to that energy needed to end, and that's because there is a new beginning here as a blessing for you in matters of the heart or in your love life in the month of September. Let's see what other blessings are coming in your direction here 
And let's see, just uh, so guys, just so you know, down in the description box, there is a link and that link is all uh, more additional insights or information in regards to your love life for the 2022 forecast that I did back in, in uh, December 2021. And it shows month by month things that you need to be aware of in regards to matters of the heart or in your love life. We are ending the third quarter because we're now in September, but a new quarter is coming, which is October, November, December. So check that out so you can get additional messages. All right. You have here support and you also have here friendship. And in the month of September, you may have more support. Okay. And I'm getting here two different messages. Some of you, some of you are going to get more support as a blessing here from friends, family, or loved ones, people that you've known, people that have, you've connected, uh, and even people that you may have had a past history with. Okay. So that's going to be a little bit more support there, emotional support, even, uh, support as kind of like being your cheerleader here, Taurus is what I'm getting. I'm also getting here that you may have some of you, some more support but from the ethereal realm okay so from your spiritual guides your guardian angel angels you know whatever your spiritual uh, beliefs or religious beliefs may be okay i feel here that there's this supportive energy and of course it makes sense here because you also have i trust uh, I trust I am always safe and protected, and that may be both in the 3D world, as in your friends, family, loved ones, or in the ethereal world, the divine, uh, God, your guardian angels, archangels, whatever your spiritual and faith uh, belief practices may be, okay? So I do feel that there is the support coming your way. I'm also feeling here as a blessing for you that some of you may have a friend or someone who you may consider only as a friend or a friend that only considers you as a friend. And through this support, there's going to be some sense of change happening here, okay? There may be some emotional changes happening here where your friend may end up being more than a friend or that a topic here about being more than friends can be uh, brought up here as a blessing here in the month of September. I feel that this friend has a lot of the qualities and a lot of the things that you've been looking for in a significant other and or this friend may see you as having a lot of the qualities that they've been looking for a significant other and I feel here that uh, the both of you here there may be for some of you this opportunity to see a valuable connection here between the both of you okay as uh, more than just friends all right stay optimistic Okay, stay optimistic. So there's this blessing of you being very open to whatever the universe is giving you or whatever this new person, friends or person that you've known may be giving to you uh, as far as uh, their heart, their emotions or the support. Okay, so some of you are going to be more open to that support here as a blessing. Um, remember that I was talking a little bit uh, about this friend, okay? This friend could really literally be a friend or this person could be an old person or a person that you've had a connection, a history with, okay? Why am I saying that? Because it's saying here, give your relationship a second chance and reconciliation okay and so for some of you Taurus if you didn't watch my um, video on second chances who may want a potential second chance at love with you do me the favor the moment you finish watching this go watch that video okay there's a there's a reason why I'm saying this and it's because it's coming out here in September for you as a blessing some of you may have someone that you may have dated in the past or recent past may have had a shared connection or a history and the blessing is really looking uh at this uh connection once again but this time with an optimistic uh energy or an optimistic eye um and really giving the uh connection a second chance or a second chance at reconciliation that reconciliation of friendship could come and turn into something more. That reconciliation of an ex can actually also be something 
uh, more here. So there could be the blessing of second chances here for you, uh, Taurus, as a blessing in September for you. What mindset you need to have in order to maximize these blessings? Well, let's take a look here, Taurus. What blessing do you need to, uh, or I'm sorry, what mindset you need to have in order to maximize, max oh my gosh, uh, in order to um, maximize your blessing? Listen to this, okay, Taurus. I forgive others for their flaws. I mean, is it more? I mean, what more of a confirmation do you need, Taurus? Okay, there may be here a second chance, the blessing of second chances, whether that be in a friendship or whether that be a connected history here that you may have had with someone in the past or recent past. Guys, take a look at that. Who would like a second chance at love with you, Taurus? There may be some additional messages for you there. Thank you so much for stopping by. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.